What's up, everybody? Another fine day at the old uh, Gas Monkey Garage. So, I know I get asked a lot, and I know Chase probably does too. What do you think about electric vehicles and stuff like that? And it's like, I don't know, I've got my own mixed emotions. I mean, when it comes to that, I, nobody knows if the batteries are gonna do worse damage than uh, combustion motors. Nobody knows, you know, what those cars are gonna do over time, but, if I had to pick an electric vehicle, it would be an electric truck, right? Right. Because we're in Texas, and I got one coming in. My buddy Ingo just got one of the very, very first Hummer EV Edition 1s, fully loaded, every spec out, and uh, he's going to come over here, take us for a ride with it, and he's going to try to sell it to me, and I think I might buy it based on what I've read. to come in and turn around watch both axles turn differently it's gonna be insane look at that's that. so nuts that is so nutty the front and the rear are turning on this thing I wonder how they did that it's so quiet well that's because it's electric you know if they would have had these back when they had the old army ones they would have never heard us coming. I know, never would have heard us coming. Except but, for probably all the rock and roll music <laughs> blaring. <laughs> that, that or we'd be dead in the middle of a desert. Look at that. What's up, man? Hey, Richard. How's How you going? been? Nice to see you. Great. Dude, How glad you? you brought this out. Thank you. This thing oh, is nice. trippy. Look at these wheels. So, it, no matter what, they're always going to, they're both going to turn. Yes, you can activate it, deactivate it. Oh, so you can make the back wheel stay straight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So just like any other truck, but in this case, the turning rate is like a Prius. No kidding. I don't know if you want to compare anything this cool to a Prius. <laughs> well, they're both battery driven, right? Right. How do we turn off that dinghy? Uh, let me turn off the truck. Oh, the truck's on? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it's so quiet, you can't hear it. I know, man. The EV stuff, man. So this is like... I mean, you were like what, number ten or twelve in the in the United States, or? Yeah, absolutely. I was number two in Texas. So. Wow. That's so nuts. Look at this. It looks like a giant movie theater in here. How's it look down there, Chase? Where did they put the batteries? If it's anything like the uh, Teslas, I think it might be on. I think it's all in the center right here. How does the underside look compared to like other cars? Like the same? It's just super flat. You can't really see anything. I mean, you get in the wheel wells, you can see the differential and it's kind of the suspension, but anything past that, you can't see anything. It's just flat. All these covers on it, which is pretty wild. Okay, but if you're on the road and you run out of juice, is there just happen to gonna be a plug wherever you stop? You can use that for a regular outlet, uh, but the superchargers are everywhere. There's an app for that and it'll guide you the right way. If you have a road trip, you just, uh, if you need to, if you go over 325 miles, you just stop at the charger and this thing with a supercharger, you get this thing loaded up in 20 minutes. Really? Full range. It's not bad. What's the cost of that though in real dollars? If you're, I mean, if you're using a, if, pulling up to a gas pump, it's five dollars a gallon right now. If you pull up to an electric pump, what is what is it going to cost? You? What does it charge you? How so does that you, work? If you would drive this a lot, maybe thirty bucks a month. I mean, you don't even notice a difference. Uh, I had a T-Rex before, and I know you're very familiar with yeah. that. Uh, I paid thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars a month in gas. Driving with this one, I pay like maybe thirty bucks a month. Wow. So you know, well, once I did the math, it made sense. You know. So what about? Golly, I almost just totally screwed myself. I was gonna ask, what about trunk space? But it's a truck, it's got six feet of trunk back there, right? I literally was like, where do you put your luggage? Well, I guess you put it back there. And Holy up cow. Here, I guess. Huh. The interior is really sexy, I gotta tell you that. Thank you. 
I love the pass through thing right there instead yeah, of being all closed cool. off. So everything's kind of geared towards the moon, uh, the lunar surface. If you look at the speaker covers, you see a foot of an astronaut on one. Uh, if you look at all the displays in the truck, uh, the lunar surface is on top basically and all around the, the, uh, the screens. And when you go through twilight, when the sun goes down, there's actually twilight on the screen and the screens fade into darkness. I mean, it looks awesome. Wow. It's like a lunar Here. eclipse. Uh, tell me about the, uh, the back end here. Is it all electric too? Yeah, you can open this thing up uh, with your remote. And you got a couple of buttons here. So this comes down pretty easy. You got an extra step here. So for uh, not very sporty people like myself, this uh, is pretty handy. This electric? Electric tunnel cover, the buttons are over here. Oh my God, they rhino line this thing? They did, it comes standard mm -hmm. like that. I hate Rhino Line. What are we going to do with this crap in, in, in 20 years? I love We want to restore one of these. <laughs> I wish they had this Rhino Line, all the exterior. No, no. It's got just... a 110 plug back here and everything. Okay, so they say this thing is supposed to be uh, like super fast. W w what kind of torque? So uh, GM says it's over 1,100 foot-pound of torque, um, but they are looking at it a little bit differently. So it's per, uh, I guess, per wheel, um, if you look at it that way. But the real number would be more like 1,100, 1,200 foot-pound of torque uh, when you compare it to diesel, let's say. Okay. Really? Wow. That's pretty impressive. I mean, this thing goes zero to 60 in three seconds. And it weighs um, like 10,000 pounds. And acceleration, it has a thousand horsepower. So if you drive it on the road, you're at 70, has the same power. You drive it at 30, has the same power. It throws you back in the seat if you wanted to. But once you got it down, uh, it's instant torque. You know it, and you just play with your big toe. That's all you need. That kind of wow. bothers me that they still call it horsepower when it's electric. Maybe it should be like 1,000 kilowatties or something. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> but horsepower is daggum fire breathing dragons that's what we're Robot talking power. about yeah. yeah terminator power so the top comes off and you got the roll bar you got these uh see-throughs all right so i want to go for a ride let's do it I wonder why cars have, in theory, I don't know why cars have to have chargers. If it's an electric car, it should be able to generate electricity going and stopping, and it should never need a charge. That's what it just doesn't generate enough when it's breaking. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, they could put, uh, you know, inductive charging into the roads. You know, you drive over it and there's like a spool in there, kind of like... Well, that'd be like the old like bumper cars or the electric cars, right? right. Exactly. <laughs> trolleys. Exactly. No, we don't want that. But but I'm well, on the road, is... like in the road. You know, you have induction, so yeah. you have a magnetic field basically that uh, yeah. generates energy. I think that we are moving 9,700 pounds. We should definitely be able to charge it while on the go. Yeah, it would be nice. This could all be solar panels. Surprised nobody's trying to drag race these things pretty funny they know a thousand horsepower they're not gonna try but try that speed go go down to uh, go down to like 40 or something and try it there there's the same amount of power at every speed try it there now that was good I like yeah, that. that was good it showed you it was good it's happy that's <laughs> <laughs> a smile right there yeah do it, at, do, it, do it at 60 it's the same uh, that's so rad. That's do it at 60. I mean, it's it's the same thing. I mean, it's just... It's just quiet. It's yeah, it's not quiet. And pretty smooth. I mean, you know... Because yeah, this is a shitty road. Trust me, this is real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I got to tell you, pretty freaking rad. 
when you're doing that crab walk thing, it's like, well, I mean, you don't really, I don't know how to describe it because I've never done it, but it's like you're going this way. Uh, it was pretty rad. Looks like we got activity happening here while we were uh, gone. Things are gonna happen to me today. So uh, it looks like Chase got dragged into working instead of opening the fence for us. But uh, all right, so what's the sticker on this thing? About 110, uh, the way it sits here, 114. I'll give you 130. No deal. Why not? <laughs> These things trade for 325 plus and I'm not gonna sell it anyway. Oh man, how about, I'd probably give 200 for one just to play with it. Can't do it. All right. I made a promise to General Motors. I got selected to a group, uh, it's called the Revolutionaries. We're supposed to provide feedback uh, to General Motors. And so, you know, I got obligations, so I can't sell it. I get it. So uh, I'll look for the excitement to die down a little bit and see where they fall. I think they're gonna get closer to 170, 180 once everybody's done being super excited. It's hard for a car to hold double its, its normal value. Well, this is uh, Bugatti Veyron horsepower, so I think the excitement's gonna stay up there for a while. There you go. Hey man, thanks for bringing it out. Absolutely, my pleasure. So there you go. That's uh, my take on a uh, EV pickup Hummer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I haven't ever been in a Tesla or anything like that. This thing's pretty freaking wicked. And uh, if you got one, you're lucky because they're worth double what you paid. It's time for a beer. I ain't driving anymore today. A German beer. Homo Kinetic John. Richard called us and said that there's a car in Richardson. We have to go now. Yep. Now? Now. All right, Fitz, load up the trailer. Trailer up. Fitz, get the trailer ready. Ready? <laughs> go get it ready! I'm fast as fuck, okay, boy. Let's go! Do I have a Tony? No, I'm not driving. Well, if Tony was driving, we'd have to book a hotel. Now, if y'all drive, we'll actually get there. Do we even have gas in this? Is this oh, gonna make it? Are we, are we supposed to put diesel in it? Huh? Are we supposed to put diesel in it? Diesel. Oh, we were supposed to fill it up? In fuel, yeah. Oh, well, we may have to stop. We only need a couple of gallons to get there and back, so y'all can do that when we get back. Well, it's, it's windy, man. It's too windy to put fuel you know, in people it. people around here, it's probably on E. Chase, you drive. Okay. I'm gonna sit in the back and relax. I got shit to do, man. Okay. Like I got paperwork and whatnot. Then we, we, we got two options. We can go up 35 to George Bush. Oh, we're taking the goddamn toll lane. Yeah, well, I that's got one it. That's one toll, or the other one's to go 635 all the way to 75. We're Dude. in a company truck. We get to take the express lane. I know, but I, if it's an hour and, and 27 minutes, it's a problem. No, it's, it's not. not. I was just fucking with you. Oh, buddy. okay. I was going to say, we got <laughs> options. We don't got problems. Tony's got bingo. We got to get back to that. And, and lunch at Luby's. Right, oh, Luby's. No, I'm just going to eat what you have. What is that? Golden Corral? Yeah. You just get all you can eat? Uh-huh. So what we're picking up is a 1971 Camaro RS. It's a split bumper car, uh, California car, no rust. Got a little ding in the side from the garage door, which tells me it was kept in the garage. That's the good news. So you got to accentuate the positive. You know, when you see a dent in the door and it was in the garage, you got to say it doesn't have a dent in the door. You say it was in the garage. Okay, but uh, these people are moving. It's probably a uh, situation where they, somebody came in and bought their house and they have to be out because they got to be out by Friday. So normally I wouldn't act this quickly, but um, you know, in this situation, you got to act while the fire is hot. Is that so it? have you seen pictures of it? I've seen a couple of pictures of it, which, you know, obviously sparked our interest in this thing. It's a 71 Camaro split bumper. How much more do you need to be interested in it? But uh, pictures look good. It's blue, which is my favorite color, not Richard's favorite color. But uh, he's gone like right now. So, I mean, yeah, he's gone right now. So he, you know, as he many blue cars as we want to fill the parking lot with blue cars. Yeah, we just fill it up blue and white. You know, that's my favorite color. So uh, do you you have the cash or was one of us supposed to grab that? Cash? Well, yeah, I got cash. You don't, don't have cash? I might need to borrow some from one of you, but uh, yeah, I got enough cash to get me there for a couple of days. Hi guys. How's it going? I'm Chase. Nice to meet nice you. Man, how much for those sweet golf clubs? They're yours. There you go. <laughs> Check it out, dude. We can go get a round of golf, man. <laughs> so you have a Camaro, right? 71? Yes. yes. We want to come look at it. Okay. Is that cool? Yes. Where are we around back, right? 
Well, you want to go through the house or you want to go around back? Well, we can... We'll go around the back. Yeah, Let's we'll go, go around, around back, the back, yeah. Oh, that is blue, Tony. He calls it the blue ghost. <laughs> Yeah, the, the vinyl tops, the only thing that I that I don't like on these for Russ. But it's got something too. right there. Looks like just dings. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, the door's not too bad. The uh are the keys in it, Sharon? Yes. I wanna look at the truck. Uh, You're right. There we go. I don't know what, I found those keys inside of there earlier, so I don't know what those keys are. What are our quarter panels look like? Look to be original, Tim. Yeah, I don't feel, I don't, I don't, I don't see a lift, that's good. Yeah, a little bit of surface, superficial, so I'm cool with that, as long as it didn't have quarters. And then it has a, a like a ding on the side there, where the, uh, on the door, coming in out of the garage. See, I look at that as a positive. It tells me if you hit a garage door with it, then you kept it in the garage. Ah, it ain't that See bad. how that works? It ain't that bad. It's just on the side? Yeah, it ain't that bad. We push it, okay. And then this looked like it had, Aftermarket air intake. Headers. All right, we got power steering, power brakes, and AC. All right. What do you think? It's a good one. You like it? I like it. Do you like look it. underneath it? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, figure out how to get back here and then uh, pull the truck around and uh, I'm think let's let's try to call Richard up. Okay. See if I can FaceTime him. He's on the beach. Nice. I'm not. Let's see if I can get him on the FaceTime. Man, I'm, is that what I look like? Yeah, it looks like I'm on the... Yes! What up, R? Hey, so I've got this Camaro here, man. It looks, uh, it's pretty cool. Power steering, power brake, uh, automatic, and uh, power steering, power brake, and AC, yeah. Automatic. I mean, the, the dash looks like it's in good shape. It's nothing uh, uh, that's... It, it, it should run and drive, but he, the, the guy that was uh, starting it every month or so has been out of town now recently, so it hasn't started in a while. How long do you think it's been, Sherry? It's been a few years. A few years? It's been a few years, so it's probably going to be, you know, fuel, batteries, the, the, the normal, but uh, we should be able to get it to fire up. All right, cool. What's the money? Um, you know, they're, they're offering, they're wanting a little bit more, but I think at nine grand, it's a good deal. Um, I, I've, I've agreed to do nine grand with them on cash, so. Yo, get the title, get it bought, put it on the truck, take it home. All right, well, hey, enjoy yourself, and, and, and whatever they, what they say, don't drink the water or something. Oh, no, I'm uh, at the nicest place in the world, but we ain't talking about that right now. Yeah, but you don't, you don't drink water anywhere, so that's kind of a joke. <laughs> don't drink the water. He doesn't ever drink the water. All right, brother, enjoy. We'll see you later. I don't know how to turn this off. I'm just gonna put it in my pocket, man. Is he still on? <laughs> That's my phone. How my phone? Oh, yeah, you no, know, you hang up. All right, sweet. Um, cool. So Richard likes it, even though it's blue. He must not have seen the blue. We'll see it when we get home. Tony's Turn, gonna handle all the paperwork, and then uh, I'll do my job and yeah, well, I mean, just... hopefully it rolls easy. Hey, let's go back to the shop. Well, where else would we go? Want we go tacos or something? What's up on the way? Now we're back at the shop, and now it's job, Phipps' job to get it running and stopping. What's up, Victor? Yay! 
What do you think? It I like warm. it, man. It was, it was, I think it's a good buy. Yeah. I think so. Now I got nothing. Now we got nothing. Maybe put it in neutral then. I wonder if it's a neutral safety. Now we know why I got parked. Started with it. Little, little tapping on, on the starter. We'll yeah, it's kind of header, so it's pretty hard to get. Oh, really? I don't no hear cranky, it even cranky. clicking, though. Let's get it in. Get it on the lift. Okay. Hold on. That all looks good. Right down, he, he. Yeah. Here you go. Huh? Go for it. Nothing. Oh, oh battery came in. <laughs> all right, now try it. Fuel pump on. Wouldn't hurt it. No. Fuel pump still looks pretty new though. Unless there's a crack in the line, it's stuck in air. Let's look under it. <laughs> uh, maybe one. Big one? Not really. Right here. That'll suck air. That's one of them that goes to the front. That's what goes in front. Let's try it. Yeah. Would you look the same size? That, that one. And the bottom. Okay. Give me a little touch. Don't forget you're wearing a white shirt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't. It's already more work than we did on our uh, work truck. <laughs> Even your camera truck. <laughs> That'll be good. Good. Spin on it. Okay, slip this one on here. And if you can. And then cut it to length. Right. Take it either way. Oh shit, that one goes on very easily. Yeah, I return. Like covering the whole thing? Yeah, I'll give it, give it the same bend as that one. one. Yeah, so, so right about here. Do I put some clothes? Uh, Grace says. Thanks, Brando. You're welcome. There you go. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Watch your arm, watch your arm. Put some more air to it, Kenny. Pumpy pump. And uh, it's just not, we're getting gas up to it. Oh, there's gas on the floor. Is there? Yeah. Maybe the pump's leaking? Maybe it's blowing plenty. Might have been blowing it out the overflow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Told you I heard liquid okay. fits. So, Accelerator pump, fuel pump, and go from there. Do you want to just get another one of those carburetors from O'Reilly's? No. I, I think it's just a pump, man, look in it. It's nice and clean. The choke was working. Give a shot. Morning, Fib Star. Hey. Uh, How's say, the uh, Camaro going? That's going like our luck here lately. Uh, it runs, and it was sitting there idling, but it's making a hell of a racket, right? So we pulled the valve cover, and I have a picture, but these are the push rods that were in it. 
and they're supposed to be straight. Uh, actually, this one was broke off laying down in there. This is supposed to be a dome, you know, for this to ride. It is push like that. But it's really clean on the inside. We put we put new push rods and a rocker arm on it. And they're all going up and down doing what they're supposed to do, but you should hear it. It's got a valve or something that started all this. So it's either a, we take it apart, put it back together, take it apart, put it back together, or just have the whole thing rebuilt. But it, I don't know. It, it's, it's so clean inside and the gaskets and everything. I don't know. Okay, we'll probably pull the head. We're good at that. I don't know. Something caused it. I think we need to go deeper. How'd the camel? They're, they're moving fine. The but lifters, the, lobes yeah. the lobes didn't look all wore yeah, out. Yeah. Looks new. Hmm. We've said that before. Yeah, Flashback back to the 68 Mustang. Wow, that was really clean in here. Yeah. yeah this that was is another, great. That, that, yeah, that 68, <laughs> the 67 Mustang, that fastback we did for Beerberries. But, what are you going to do? Well, uh, we'll pull the head. I'm going to take my arm. We know the conversion is probably going to be a little jacked up because it's pushing air out of, sounds like the intake. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the Schrader valve out of our compression test kit and we're going to put air to the cylinder with the valves closed and see which end it's coming out of. Hopefully, possibly it's just a valve. Hopefully it's not going in the oil pan. If it's going in the oil pan, that means we have a broken piston, which won't be good. Thing is nasty. Dirty, crusty. Come get your shit. All you're doing is opening it more. No, he's closing it. Oh, he's back now. That's close. Close. Hey, do that second, do this one again. Yeah, it's coming out the exhaust too. With the valves all the way shut, all the, that yeah, look at the back side the air the should stay in the cylinder uh -huh. and you shouldn't hear any leaking. Maybe, maybe look. marginal, look, maybe half a percent, but. You can see air on the moisture in there. Yeah, I well, I'm hoping since it's coming from the valves, I'm hoping that we don't see big indentions in the pistons because it'll possibly crack. So, we'll find out. We're probably going to end up having to pull the head. Just trying to see how much we can save. Hopefully, we can save everything on the lower end of the engine, but uh, we're definitely going to have to pull the head and more than likely either replace it or get it oh, yeah, like, fixed. But lately, these hards are had to come by. So, they're fairly cheap to build, That's it's just a problem. time frame. You, you always want to like make as much money as you can as fast as possible. A, and uh, parts the these days, this may take a month to rebuild, who knows? Why are you dropping stuff? Pile. Yeah, grab that, grab that. Had the hole in the top wasn't bent. No, right? it wasn't yeah. bent. The one that had the hole on top was not bent, but it it went straight through. Yeah. And then the other one, was, that was, one it was still it was bent, but it wasn't broken. broken. And then the other one was broken, and the, the rod was still down in here. The other part popped out. Why is there only three here? There's only three push rods and a and a rocker arm, right? No, it was four. Four push rods? Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is there right is. there. It's the one on the straight, but that's right. the one that had... Where is that? What is that? Plastic. This looks like plastic. Oh, yeah. From that. From that. That's metal right there. Where they broke this. Well, yeah, there's gonna be some because there was... From that. That's the plastic, but... That's metal. 
There was metal all yeah, over this one. Beating on this. It beat a while before it went through. That wasn't instant. Well, you know, I can tell from the push run. Uh-oh. Someone had fun with this engine. So it looks like the cylinder walls slash rings are a little wore, wore out, which I can get at that since it's been sitting. Maybe the rings just haven't expanded yet. We haven't really ran it. But we're getting air through the oil pan on that side of the cylinder, so the whole motor could be wore out. But we're gonna find out soon enough. I think we just start with pulling that head. We're getting it out of the valves over here, but we're getting it out of the oil pan over there. Someone had fun. Someone had they had fun. a lot of fun. And then they it ran did. one part. <laughs> ran one part, but not well. There's a t-shirt like that. You can get it at gasmonkeygarage.com. Every time Richard goes out of town, he's all relaxed when he comes back because he's been on the beach. Comes back and sees a boat or torn apart and he just, there goes the vacation. Oh, fuck me. Oops. Oops. I have to leave the armory. Let me go back out. Hey, that was working. That one was working. Hey, we're at whole pressure problem. We'll have to check these, uh, make sure they're not bent. Oh, we're not going to. That, I mean, we're taking it out this time. Whoops. Where did they go? Not in, not in the coolant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what you need right there. There we go. Find out. Worse right. than we thought. Oops. Yeah, see, these are supposed to be straight. Nope, they were clearance. They were what? This cylinder one had clearance. This intake valve or exhaust valve is farther out. Wait, so, cylinder three looks nasty. They both look nasty like oil or coolant. One and three. Yeah, you know what? It that's may have blown the head gasket and it filled up with water and that's why those are bent. Sure. Okay, that's it. This is a lot of rust around the edge too. I just wiped it off, but it still has all the cross hatching in the block. Yeah, I saw that. That one looked like it had less. Right. I, I just say we built the whole thing. We don't know. All the only record we have is is that miles. And it's probably rebuilt before this this last guy had it, what, twenty years? Close to it. Check it out. I just got back from vacation, I gotta tell you. It was great. Sun was uh, hot. Beer was cold, got a little bit of a tan, feeling pretty good, but I'm most excited about this Camaro that uh, they got bought while I was gone because we have never owned a split bumper Camaro here at Gas Monkey Garage. And now we have a Robin's Egg Blue one. What do we got, guys? We're back. This thing is rad. Uh, yeah, sorta. Of. It, it, it really is, Richard. I mean, other than what you're fixing to look at. Yeah, why did y'all tear the motor apart? Well, uh, well here's, here's half a push rod and Here's a crooked one, and here's some really screwed up ones. <sighs> but it had it had two or two heads. I don't know if something got you know like water got in the cylinder and hydrostatic because it did it fast. Okay. And see, this is what happens when one goes tapping for a long time. But you hear that for a long time. See how it goes through. It TV tapped all the way through. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Well. If I remember correctly, because I was uh, having a few cold cervezas on the beach right. when we did the FaceTime, it's uh, power steering, power brakes, AC. Yep. And it's supposed to be like original, what, like 40, 50,000 miles? Yeah, original 44,000 miles documented. 
I mean, it had a big dent over here. What happened to that? Yeah, it pushed most of it out. I still got a little bit of work to do on there. But wait till you see underneath this thing, dude. Wait, 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 let me see inside it first. Inside's not so great. Uh, yeah. Inside needs help. Now you told me this decoded out as a silver car. Yeah, Nevada silver um, with the vinyl top. We don't know if it's RS because we haven't found the build sheet yet, but everything specs out to be what it is. It was built in LA. It's got a California block in it. This feels awesome under here. I know, there's no rust. It's straight other than the door. There's no crusties underneath the corners either. Nope. Normally you'd see it poking through. Yep. A couple of dents well, where the top looks good. But yeah, I mean, they would have had clean. to take this car apart to paint it this well a different color. They, they didn't do that great of a job. Because no, you can still see the yeah. silver coming through. They, they masked it off. Because the lines, the body lines, everywhere you look, even when it's up in the air and you're looking at the trunk, everything's just straight as can be on this car. Man. But it has the, the rear interior looks original. Yeah, it looks like they redid the fronts. Yeah, that's a like, horrible job, but would this thing have been silver black top with blue interior? It doesn't go that far, I have to find the build sheet. That's well, pretty black. <laughs> yeah, I know it's terrible. But, but they did silly stuff in the 70s. Yeah, they did really silly stuff. And mixed match wheels. Mixed match wheels. Okay. I, don't know. I gotta keep my fingers crossed. The bottom of the car has to be perfect, and then we got a home run. The bottom of the car is, is a different story. Come, Come on. on. Inside of the fenders are just perfect. This is where... Look at these drain plugs. I know. Still got the drain plugs. Look at the look at the plugs here. Still got the original seam seal and everything. Look at the inside of this. How the would you well, ever not seen the pinch wells all just, just beat the hell? Because somebody tries to jack the car up by it. Not knowing. That's amazing. I know. It's pretty nuts. Factory well, clamps. So well, these are not so factories. You were you were talking about the miles. If you if you look in the console, the guy wrote down when he got in the car, how many miles was on it? When he got out of the car, and how many miles was on it? Well, he probably had a kid like you were when you were young that was stealing all the time. <laughs> well, I'm not saying it was my dad's car. <laughs> Look at this front. I know. That's unbelievable. It's just missing the plastic little balance thing, but it's not that big of a deal. You can tell they didn't spray it out or tape it off that well because it got blue here, but. This is 50, the cleanest Camaro I've ever seen. 50 year old? 50, right? Is it 50? 50 is it 50 year old? Yeah, yeah, it'd be 50 years old. 51. It's almost 51, as old as you are. Yeah, 51 years old. Holy cow. That really is amazing. Yeah. Because these cars got raised, beat up, jumped on. Terrible. They, they usually have all kinds of freaking hook holes in here from wrecker guys. Yep. Yeah. But really, they're normally, supposed to have the crossovers normally just like, hammered, but this one's yeah. only got a little bit of damage. I don't think anybody really ever beat this car to death. No. They didn't put a set of headers on it. But look, it's got four flange headers instead of three. Just. I can't All say right. enough about this car. I don't know what to say now because I don't know what I want to do. I, I've always wanted to have one of these. I, know I mean, even know. just running and driving like it's supposed to be with, with front discs, rear drums, and uh, and uh, power steering, power brakes, and AC. This would be an easy car to drive. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're waiting on you to decide what you want to do. I just can't, can't believe that also? somebody would go to Robin's Egg Blue. I know. It's terrible. Okay. Man. I'm just amazed at the body line, man. I know. And, and underneath, look, the whole just, front. Look at the rocker. Just, look at the rocker moment. It's insane. All the screws are still in it. It's just. It, it's a perfect. I think for the for the money you paid, it's just great. It's just great. It's and better. you did. Plus, you didn't even have to look for it. They it, called you. They called you, and it was only like. So how how often do you get a car? And he bought it while he was on vacation. Yeah. How, how often do you get a car that you've never had that kind of fell in your lap, and now you have a chance to do something really cool with it? Yeah, I just don't know. I mean, I'm really like, do you just get it running and driving, or do you build it, or? Well, either either way, Richard. Uh, I mean. But well, that's that, kind of the plan. I make money, you get check. Okay, but if, you, if you restore it, you're looking at an older motor, carbureted, blah, blah, blah. But if you go the new route, the Resto Mod, just everything underneath it, be new, with an LS injected thing with gas mileage, 
Dependability. No, 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 no. Wait, I see you. I see you. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah. But you leave everything else the same. It doesn't work like that. When oh. you add horsepower, you got to add tranny to get it through there. Then you got to add rear end to suck it up. You then you got to add brakes this, to make this, it stop. Okay. The brakes on this car are the same brakes that when they put the big block 396 in these things. So you, you're not looking at, you're, not, you're just not looking at that. I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I can tell you one thing I do know after doing this for 20 years now. The most profit I can make on this car is right now where it sits. But yeah, <laughs> but you always will make profit no matter what you do to it. I don't know. We might have to let the viewers decide, see if anybody wants to take this on as a project like it sits. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get a bunch. Yeah, we, that underneath, I mean, if we put enough pictures of that underneath, the Camaro guys will lose their shit. The problem is, as we've experienced with the bus, is it takes a while to build and well, we got supply chain issues and people get impatient out there in the old interwebs that's just it. well we you know we started that at the beginning of that nothing getting shipped over here or at the end of it where nothing's on the shelves or nothing anymore so it, plus that's a huge project dude you i know but with something that's clean it's like you'd almost be ashamed not to throw a roadster shop chassis under it well so you pull the body off i know and uh and pressure wash it and all that kind of stuff and put it right back down. I mean, look at the, I mean, even the rubbers and everything are still, still good. good. I know, it's insane. Now you're talking. I like the chassis part. Oh, it's freaking cool. Just make it handle like a go-kart. Yeah, well, speed costs money. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about this one. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, now that we know what the problem is with the motor, we can buy a, a long block built for, Well you know, damn near nothing, or we so can yeah. buy, you well, know. Well, actually, I've got a, the City Motors up here, we dealt with, been in Dallas since 48. Uh, they would probably work with you on that. But when we, remember, if you think back to the ambulance, when we were gonna buy a head, or find a head, we couldn't, we couldn't, because the dirt track racers all scarf these old stuff up. So you have to, if, if, if we didn't go through the motor, if we found a problem and we couldn't rebuild it, uh, they would, Sure did we it. find numbers on the motor? Mm -hmm. it, the block is for the car. Okay. The heads are double hump heads, which didn't come. They were they didn't, weren't around in the seventies. Okay. So somebody put out the different heads on it. They these, may have done a cam. We don't know. These heads. We only had it running head. for thirty seconds. I know, but you can build the motor here, can't you? We can, yeah. I mean, is that easier and cheaper than sending it out, or is it easier but, just to buy it? Once you take it apart and see if there's a ridge on anything that looks <laughs> that may have caused that problem. You'd want you'd want you'd want to get the lock the short the short block line board and block deck. Uh, these people they do all that. They put it on a running machine. They got a CNC machine. It's just I know how an engine builder works. Yeah, you I'm know it. You know it just as well as I do. Jeez, it'll work. Fitz Education 107. Yeah. All right, I, I really I really don't know. I got to think about this one, and I'm still a little uh, worn out and possibly a little hungover from vacay. But uh, I've also got another car being delivered here in a little bit, so uh, that is probably going to have some motor problems too, if I remember correctly. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I didn't buy it on vacation. I, uh, I bought it a long time back and I forgot about it. <laughs> so he called me while I was on vacation. He was like, you ever going to come get this car? And I was like, what car? He was like, uh, you bought it from me like a month ago. I was like, ugh. Yeah, you seem to do that a lot. Wow. I don't do it a lot, but I have done. Oh, you have done it a lot. Cause when you're at my <laughs> shop, that truck would pull up out there with three or four model A's on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is rad. Uh, let's just hold pattern on this. Uh, get a price on what we would need to just slap a motor in it. Um, but we want to double check front to back if we do that, yeah, and then yeah. we'd want to change the wheels and go kind of period correct Craigers, right? Big and littles. Or you do the seventeen rallies. The over little oversized rallies. Oh, it's got air shocks on it. Get you some. I know. All right, buddy. All right, cool deal, guys. I should go on vacation more often. I guess you bought a Trans Am? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, while I was on vacation, I had Tony seal the deal up and uh, what have you. 
What's going on, uh, Sir Richard? John. John, how you nice doing? You. Man, so this is it. It's a hot rod. It is, but it looks like the this is sitting a little low. It's a low riding hot rod. It's supposed to be on up in the air, ain't it? Yeah. So you'll have to educate me on what I bought here because I actually forgot about it. <laughs> yes, sir. And I guess I bought it about a month ago, didn't I? Yes, sir. What um, you have here, you have a 78 Trans Am. Uh, it has a 403 that uh, was built in California, so they only put the 403 in it. It doesn't have a 400. Correct. Uh, it shows 50,000 on the odometer. Hard to say on that. But it does have the original decals. Could be true. Those are egg. Uh, it looks this, like it's... Uh, uh, the other door panel's in there. In looks the like back. it's been painted on a little bit, maybe. A little bit. The underneath side of the car is clean. It has a little rust spot here and there. Let's pop the hood and see what we got. So the deal is, I'll, I'll inform you. I guess I was uh, having some beers on vacation about a month ago and bought this thing and had Tony pay him and then I forgot. And uh, he calls me up and goes, are you going to come get this Trans Am? I was like, what Trans Am? <laughs> what are you talking about? All right, so as you can see, the hood hinges are absent. They weigh 40 pounds a piece, and my guess is either they put them in the trunk for better traction, <laughs> or they have uh, kind of got stuck a little bit. Somebody tried to force the hood down, and probably well, the hood the doesn't look damaged. The, the, the it's not creased or anything. Tweaked. No, it looks good. Uh, do we have keys? Keys ignition? Keys? Of you have keys to everything, actually. They're in the ignition. Okay. So, but you told me your mechanic looked at this, and the motor's locked up. Motor is locked up, and there's the original motor. That's the original. That's your bit. That's the original. Yeah. That's one side. It's a 403. Motor and tranny. Tranny. Just anything that uh Well that doesn't look like it's original tranny. I think that's why they actually had this thing out, be the train is no good. They didn't have these stickers like that back then. Maybe not. I don't know. Nah. Let's look in the truck. Let's okay. check that out. The car's basically it's all there. It's not bad. Doesn't hurt my feelings. No, it doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> I didn't pay attention. We power steering, power brakes, and AC. I don't know. Yes, I'll sir. Work real quick. Yeah, the, but the AC compressor is. But it is an AC uh, car. It is an AC car. All yes, right. Sir. It's barely straight. Yeah, it's not bad. There's the hood hinges. Yeah. <laughs> Four of them. You pull it up, Fitz. It looks dirty. <laughs> Not as clean as uh, this one today. Hey, well, it's my nickel. I found it. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. in the car that pays you back. Yeah, yep, it's that's a nickel. What year? 78. I don't know. I can't read It'd it. It'd be kind of cool. 2000. It looks like 2000. Oh, damn. <laughs> But since I had Tony do the deal, what did I pay for this? $6,500. You wanted like $8,500, right? I wanted 85 And now I got $6,500 in it. Yes, sir. All right. But with a bad motor and an extra motor. Yes, sir. A couple of cracks a in the dash. Hey, man. Hey, dash pad <laughs> says RJ's TA. Maybe it was RJ's. I think it was RJ's at one point in time. Has it got a title? No. Bill of Sale. What? Yeah. Hey, got four keys left. Got good keys. All right. Um, well, let's go in and do some paperwork. Okay. And, uh, well, I don't know. We need to help you get this thing off, don't we? Well, by we, I meant them. All right. This is your job. Okay. I'll get the motor ready. All right, y'all get that thing out. So normally we would try to use the Kiko system on this, but since the paint 
it's been repainted and the paint's already chipping off, just pushing on it. Um, it would probably pull the paint off. Um, so we're just using conventional PDR on this. Uh, we got most of it out, but now it's down to the hard part is getting all the little stuff. Woo! Crazy week, man. Yeah, I don't know nutty. about the Hummer thing for a hundred grand over sticker. Yeah, I don't know. And I really don't even know if it's worth a hundred. It's not that cool. But it's, everything's overpriced right now. I don't know, it's okay. But uh, let's just go with this first. Uh, it looks like you banged out the door. Yeah, I got the door mostly worked. Uh, it could be worked a little bit more or we skin it or we just fill it and paint it. I hate filler. Uh, all right, so we got a blown motor. Um, I think it's easier just to buy a long block, right? Yeah, it's fastest. Because it's two weeks at, about a week for me to do it here. It's two weeks to do it, have it sent out and rebuilt and it's, I can have one in two days. It's easier just to buy it, but... Um, then we don't know if the tranny works or if we fixed all the brakes problems. We don't know or nothing. Or if it's got a clunk on one of these leaf spring bushings or... And then we've got uh, interior that's hideous. Yeah, that's another problem. And then the Trans Am has a blown motor. Trans Am has two blown motors. The original oh, motor's right. blown yeah. too. Yeah, it had okay. a bent rod in it. Shit. What is this, like Motor Mondays? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> I don't know if I can say that or not. <laughs> I'd have to check the contract. But uh, anyways, uh, shit, dude. I think I want to get this one running and driving. Okay. Let's not go too far on it, because as long as we stab the motor and we can get it to move and groove, then we know what we have, and then we can start making a plan on whether or not we want to just go crazy and exhaust and rear ends and you know all kinds of shit. Right. Or if we just want to punt it. Uh, let's well, hold we... on the white Trans Am. Um, I don't know if it's worth I don't know if it's worth even messing with. I don't know it's, either. It's pretty, it's pretty far gone. It's clean body, but getting it back up and running would be a lot. Yeah, but it's nothing special. It's not a four speed. It's it's not a it's, bandit. It's not a right. WS6. It's nothing. Right. So, uh, all right, cool. Well, cheers to a good week. Have a beer on me. I haven't even opened mine yet. Well, there you have it, guys and gals. Uh, a normal week at Gas Muggy. Cars in, cars out. Work done on the big stuff. Some work done on the small stuff. And uh, now, well, I got to do what I do every day. Come back to work tomorrow, because I work on the weekends. Just kidding, I, not really. Let me talk to you about the, uh, the, the, the big gorilla in the room, so to speak. What's bussing? Well, the bus is. It's off to paint. Uh, our booth isn't big enough to paint it, so we've got some friends of ours down the way painting on it and uh, should be back, and uh, then we can continue to go back together. It's probably, for all you people out there that are waiting on it to get done, Let's give it another six, maybe eight weeks, uh, uh, six or eight months, maybe a year. I'm gonna keep you in suspense. You know, that's how you do it here. Let me tell you a little joke. How do you keep an asshole in suspense? So now that you've been in suspense long enough, um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the day that we started the bus build. Uh, it's been a little bit crazy. Uh, some of the parts and stuff were a pain in the rear to get to. Uh, it was a lot of sanding. Uh, it looked horrible to me. I didn't do any of it, but it looked like a really big job. And uh, other than that, it's off to paint. We're having a good time. Uh, we're gonna throw a motor in the old Camaro here. We're gonna wait on the Trans Am and uh, I'm gonna do what I do best. We're getting fired up on all cylinders as soon as we get this bus out of here. So what do you guys and gals out there wanna see us do? You know, comment below, tell us what you think would be cool, what's going on out there and uh, what's new and improved or old and wrecked or, you know, just really what you think we'd wanna do. We'll take all of that into account and then we'll, uh, compromise and do it my way.